Best lot is you have it feeding us all day and you know the wind blows at night. Whereas intermediate means that when the wind stops, you don't get power anymore. We needs to be a primarily intermediate for souls. Although you could cut some at night, solar will always be intermediate because you can only get it when the sun's out. And you can only get it when it's not cloudy. So whether it's a geography issue, a materials issue, or just the mechanics of what can take is, when looks a lot more stable. And then finally, there's a labor issue, solar panels and all of the attendant things that go with it require fingers and eyes for other manufacturing. Especially assembly. Wind is oversimplifying here, a big turbine and a branch of big blades. And then you are done. And those blades are topically some sort of carbon fiber. Which is something that's not particularly difficult to manufacture. So on what matter happens with the green transition. No matter what happens with the world of electricity, moving forward, wind is a far more durable component of our future. And that's before you consider that it also generates a lot of more electricity per dollar. So for every dollar that you put on to generating, oh, say solar power. You had actually got twice as much electricity coming from wind, and that means in places such as the wind field in the United States. The Green Plains Wind has long been the safest source of power and has been driving other sources of power out of business, especially once they started to address the intermediate issue. So wind looks good no matter where it happened to be. Some places are better than others. Try to move there if you can, or at least get a where that takes the forward to you. Oh, one more quick thing. Why you haven't heard this before is simply due to a combination of the Inflation Reduction Act and personal preferences. You see, the IRA provided cash for everyone who were credit tax credits for a everyone who could food of green tag and while not everyone can have say a wind turbine at their house anyone can put up solar panels so wind turbines very rarely go to places that are not windy where solar panels often go to places that are not sunny because individuals could do it so for example the state in the united states was the highest Penetration per capita of solar panels is per moment our la latest sunny state. And so, just like Berlin, they will never generate enough electricity to feed down the carbon cost, much less the economic cost of installation with wind. You don't have that problem because you know you are not going to put one of those turbines that's 80 hundred feet tall on your roof. Okay, that's all I have to say now. Thank you, gentlemen.